It's the dawn of a new era for Donaldsonville football. The Tigers revamping their coaching staff and bringing in Darnell Lee to inject some life back into the program. Lee getting ready for his 23rd year of coaching. He spent the last 10 at East Ascension High School, and so far the transition to Donaldsonville has been smooth, as he put it. The Tigers have had 90% participation so far in summer workouts and have a dozen coaches on staff, which Lee said is unheard of at the 3A level, all in an effort to bring back a program that has certainly won in the past back to its winning ways. Yeah, I had some people reach out, some good schools, good coaches, and good, great programs. But, uh, you know, from Ascension, and to be able to land right here is good. Didn't have to move. Um, I go from a 12-minute drive to a 17-minute drive, and, uh, you know, I'm enjoying it. Uh, Coach Lee, I like how he pushes, like, you know, he makes sure that we ain't never slipping. He makes sure that we always on top of our stuff. And uh, he just always hit a motivate us, like, just, just make sure that we're doing the right stuff. But I feel like since Coach Lee came here, like, every time we mess up, you know, like, you know that when we were doing a step on the line or something, five push-ups. You do this wrong, push-ups, you know. So just stuff like that he's doing to get our mind right, get us discipline. I ain't knew he was coming for real, because I was, when he, when he came, I was still playing. I was still focused on basketball. I wasn't too much worried about football. They haven't asked me to play, but. I was like, man, I ain't, I ain't playing. <laughs> until, like I see, until he started coming to me during lunch, I met him, talked to him a couple of times. Yeah, he got me. He got me. Uh, he's brought a lot of stuff. He brought discipline. Uh, he brought more people to the school, actually, because, and he brought more people to the team. Because last year, we didn't have that many guys. We got more depth this year a little bit, you know. Uh, we got a lot of new stuff. You know, I mean, you feel good, play good. So, I mean, all that's bringing people to to come uh, to the table, you know. My first impression, uh, I ain't thought he was going to be how he was. He a good coach, though. He a good coach. I thought he was going to be mean. He nice, cool, like the joke. But when it's time to uh, uh, work out, we get in line, see. Yeah, he's serious. He like teach discipline. Yeah. Real cool, cool guy. Motivates us. Clown around with us. But when it's time to lock in, he... He's locked in. He butt his business, but his money. Thought I like about him. I mean, they they've been winning, and you know, had a couple of down years. But you know, of course, the the goal is to get to the promised land of football, which is the Superdome. So that's what we're shooting for, and I know everybody in the state is. But you know, I feel like we have a real shot if we can get it going and get the right people around the kids and uh, build some uh, build build a, a stronger discipline type culture, where you know they. The most important discipline is self-discipline. And then kids conduct themselves on and off the field. And uh, like I said, get, get good men in as coaches to help mentor.